making some changes to the sculpture and I am getting a lot more detail. One of the things that I made as an error is a general proportion error, but I think I corrected most. I do have a general proportion now and the clay is a little bit firmer than before, so it's holding a little bit better. So I can start to, you know, sculpt things as I want them. The problem that I've been struggling with is that she has very wide shoulders, so um, you can correct things in a very general sense just by doing this. If you take one of your tools, make sure that it's nice and clean, and you can just kind of rock it back and forth like this. What this does is that it kind of pushes the clay down. Now there's going to be a limit how much you can do, but to remove that quarterback sort of shoulder thing, you're going to have to remove a little bit more. So I've already been removing a little bit of the arm, and the problem with this sort of style of no armature is that once it gets hard, it's very difficult to kind of move things freely, so you're essentially carving at a certain point, but that's fine because so because this sculpture is a standing sculpture, one of the things that you're going to have to concentrate on is the uh, constant pressure from gravity pushing this clay down. Remember, I don't have a wire armature inside here, so the problem is that everything just keeps pushing down, so there's nothing really holding it up. I can exaggerate very easy just by rotating and even moving my shoulder down. Another very important thing to note is the direction of the shoulder. So if the shoulders are going this way, oftentimes you have something called contrapposto, and that means that the hips are this way. And you can exaggerate that a little bit more. Mine is a little bit higher. I am probably going to exaggerate that a lot more by twisting the figure. You know, as a sculptor, you can use this. This is calipers. Calipers are really handy. This is a one size caliper, so for example, if you were doing a portrait sculpture, you would take this and you, tr you could translate this directly to your model. And it's a very good way, it's kind of like using your pencil in drawing and your brush in painting. This is one of the best tools that you can get for... Well guys, I have done a little bit more work to the face. You can see it's got a lot more detail. And as you scroll down, this is being, this is quite a difficult sculpture to do because there is some foreshortening in the photographs. Normally you could have the model twist her head directly to you and move around, that way you can see things. But I am having a little bit of a difficult time, but I think I will be able to pull this off. So standing poses are always difficult. and. It's very difficult to kind of push yourself. You know, I noticed that the arm is definitely a little bit off. There's a lot of little things, you know, and when you look at the lower body, one of the things I'm doing is making it just a little bit thicker. That way it is the armature holding up the sculpture. But oftentimes with these things, you have to be patient. And what is happening is that certain parts of the sculpture do not look very good and then some look okay but we're at a point where we're essentially just sculpting sculpting the armature and probably after this I'll be able to fully develop the sculpture a little bit more so I do have a little bit more dramatic feel now to the um, to the sculpture you know the, when the light comes in and it gets a little bit darker in the studio the light is a lot easier to control so that is a popular thing to do for sculptors is that you want to increase the drama of the light so oftentimes you can see a lot of the, the bony structures of the face for example when you have a very strong direct light so as a sculptor you have to rely on lighting but this one it gets a lot of light during the daytime and as the light goes down you start to see a little bit less which is normal but at this point when you're moving around you can see the coloring as sculptors call it we're going to be working on just working the anatomy 
of the sculpt.